Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to know how to use the Goal Seek function. So I'm going to give you two scenarios. The first scenario is a break even calculation. I want to know how many units I need to sell to break even. So my retail price is $29, cost of production $18, overheads $3,000. Now I need to write a formula to explain to Excel the relationship between these figures. So that would be the profit calculation in this scenario. So I would say I need to calculate the profit on each unit and then multiply it by the units sold and then subtract from that the monthly overheads. So you can see with 100 units sold, I have a loss of nearly $2,000. So what I could do is keep playing around with units sold to find out the break even point, but that does take some time. So what I can do instead is use goal seek. So it doesn't matter where you click in your sheet. What you need to do is go to the data tab on your ribbon, then over to what if analysis and then goal seek. So I need to set this cell here with my formula in it to the value of zero. That will be my break even point. And then I need to specify which cell I want to change to achieve this value. So that's going to be the unit sold. So if I then click on OK, it will calculate the exact number of units I need to sell. So effectively 273. So if I click on OK, round this down. So this only worked because of this formula here. This explains to Excel the relationship between these numbers. So let's move on to the second example, mortgage payments. So the mortgage amount I need is $350,000. My term is going to be 20 years and the interest rate is 5.17%. Now to calculate the monthly payments in Excel, use the payment function. So the rate is here. Now I want monthly payments, so I need to divide that by 12 because that's the annual rate, comma, in person number of payments. So that would be 20 times 12, again, because I'm working out monthly payments. And then the present value is the mortgage amount, the loan amount. And I need to express that as a negative value. Now the other two arguments are not needed. They're non-mandatory. So I'll just close the bracket and press enter. So the monthly payments are about 2,300, but I can only afford $1,750 a month. So how can I achieve that? Well, I could achieve that by changing any of these figures up here. I might have to move to a smaller house, I might have to increase the term or I might need to look for a better interest rate. So again, I'm going to go to data, what if analysis and goal seek. So I need to set this cell here to the value of 1,750. And first of all, I'm going to do that by changing the term. So it gives me a term of 38 years, which is probably unrealistic. So I'll cancel that. That'll take me back to my original monthly payment and term. So now I'll try it with the interest rate. So what if analysis, goal seek, set this cell to 1,750 by changing cell interest rate. So click on OK. And you can see I get an interest of 1.88%. Well, no one's going to give me that interest rate. So the term and the interest rate don't work. So the only other thing that I can do is be realistic about the amount of money I can borrow. So let's just try that as our final calculation. So we want to set this value to 1,750 by changing the amount we're going to borrow. And there we are. We have a realistic amount we can borrow over this term with this interest rate.